<laughs> Morning! Got a very restless kitten here. I've just been delivered a box of stuff from my new sponsor and you know cats and boxes. So what I wanted to do today is open up this box and let you know my big news and plans for the rest of the year or at least some of the year. So the sponsor is Restrap and I am so stoked to be working with them. Restrap has been around since way back when I used to race fixed gear crits, when I used to pop wheelies and stuff in London and all that kind of thing. And the brand have grown. They now have a massive range of really, really, really awesome bikepacking gear. Shh, the kitten is now playing with a marble. Great. And um, when I was, shh, really? When I was racing in Rwanda, my um, partner that I was racing with, Juliana, she was using Weestrap stuff herself and I just saw how well it worked. So, really excited to be sharing this once with Juliana and I'm going to show you the lovely, lovely box of stuff that they've sent me. I am very, very lucky. There's also a kitten hiding under here. Um, wow, I'm so lucky. I'm just going to show you inside the box. Hey. Betty. Swag. Okay, let's begin. So, race frame bag. And this one contains three litres of stuff. It is very waterproof, very lightweight. I wonder what it weighs. 180 grams. Race bar bag. Now this is a kind of holster design. I was never sure about this sort of design until I saw Giuliani using it. Basically, every single time that we stopped um overnight juliana could just take her dry bag out of her harness um she was actually using a harness on the back and then you just walk into the place you're staying carrying that i had to unstrap everything and it was far less efficient so quite down with this system sorry my kitten is really so cute betty so yeah here is the race saddle bag um it comes with a Super lightweight dry bag. Oh yeah, I've got the uh, race stem bags that I so coveted. These are just perfect. 86 grams each and each one holds 1.1 litres, so that's gonna be nice. I've got the race top tube bag. Again, Juliana had this and I wanted one. One of the cool things about it is it unzips from either end, which is handy. Nice piece of kit. Oh little mesh pocket there what else have i got these are cool they're like um you know foil straps basically they're just for strapping extra stuff on your bike so could be extra large water bottles it could be your tube spare in a tube that kind of thing Ooh, a t-shirt thank you race strap ah this is the um non-race saddlebag so this would be if i was bike packing and i wanted to take a lot more gear with me same system the dry bag goes inside and what's this? Oh, cool. Dear Juliet, welcome to the team. Thanks, guys. I've got my little team members badge. So I'm going to get all this stuff on the bike and see what it looks like. Well, I kind of know what it looks like because, as I said, Juliana was using it all, as was Harry when we were in Race Around Rwanda. But I just want to put it on my bike and see what it looks like. Uh, and before I do that, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is the exciting race news that I have for 2023. Sort of nervous about telling you this because I did consider going and doing this without letting anyone know in case I fail. Basically, I've entered a round of the UCI Gravel World Series. Um, the round that I'm doing is in Scotland. And I'm doing it not only because, well, I just want to and it'll be fun, but I'm doing it because the top 25% in each age group qualify for the Gravel World Championships in Italy later this year. Now, my friend Lou, who has a Tube channel, I will link to her, she has um, successfully qualified for the UCI Grand Fondo World Championships. And she got to wear a Team GB skin suit and go and have a really fun time and... It was quite a cool thing to see. I did consider doing it with Lou this year, but unfortunately she had quite a bad accident in some cowboy boots. <laughs> so 
Sorry, I'm not laughing about the accident, merely the way it happened. So to cut a long story short, Lou's not doing the um, UCI Grand Fondo World Championships or qualifiers. So I thought, well, if I'm going it alone, I might as well go for something more aligned with what I enjoy, and um, that's gravel. So, yeah. So at the end of May, I'll be doing a little road trip. I am going to go to Sisters of Send Mountain Bike Festival in Avon in Wales. Then make my way up the country, maybe ride some trails in the Lake District, stuff like that. The Peak District, maybe, depending on my route. And eventually I'll end up in Scotland for the first round, well, my first round, my first crack at the UCI Gravel World Series. I think it's, is it the Gravel World Series or the Gravel World Cup? I don't know. So, yeah, that's my big news. When it comes to the bikepacking racing, well, the next big race for me is really um, across Andes in Patagonia at the end of the year. So I've got that to look forward to. But in the meantime, I'm not quite sure what other bikepacking races I've got. So if you've got any suggestions of, thing, of things, things that I should enter, please let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Um, between now and then, I am going to go out to Girona to race the Tracker which is a 200 kilometer gravel race. I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in Girona with some friends riding after that. Then I've got the Rift in Iceland, another long gravel race in Iceland. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and then I think I'll probably do Torino Nice Rally in September, but that's not a race, although I'm sure people do. Um, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, enough gas in, let's get the bags on and see what they look like. <laughs> she is fully loaded looks pretty boss right uh, depending on the race I may or may not need all the different components but oh, it looks so good black and black and black and black so yeah gonna have to plan some adventures right what do you think I seriously love it <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you my plan, show you this. I will plan a trip to try it all out and uh, let you know all about that, I guess. Leave me any um, suggestions in the comments below. I've got a few places on my radar that I want to go to. West Coast of Ireland is one of them, but I don't know whether I'm going to make it over there anytime soon. But yeah, leave me any suggestions and questions, comments. Always nice to hear from you. So yeah, see you later. Bye.